Now let's see if we can get inside Luigi's mansion. First we're going to get some advice from the doctor here by pressing the A button. Okay, we're inside the mansion. It's a little dark inside, so Luigi's using a flashlight. Now, the uh, most important feature of this game is going to be the control stick to move Luigi's direction. So if we're changing direction with that, what do we do for movement? And that's where we're using the C-stick. And as you're using the C-stick, it becomes more easy to use the R button. And that's used to control the vacuum. And of course we also have that turbo. Okay, let's go into this hallway here. Now just like Boo, the ghosts are going to appear behind Luigi. So you're going to use your light to shine it on them, startle them, and then the vacuum will suck them in. This is the basic idea of the game. Now if you uh, shine the light on them too late... <laughs> So the idea is to uh, flash the light and at that moment suck them into the vacuum. <laughs> this is the kitchen here. Now you can even suck up the mist from the refrigerator. You can suck up these mice too. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game yet. <laughs> so we're going to continue back through these hallways here. And again, as if you shine the light too long on the ghost, it's just going to disappear. <coughs> Back this way. The bathroom. Hey, you, can even, you can even move the curtain here. Oh, it's Boo. Great, that's what I was missing. And if we try to suck the curtain from this side. What a tease. There's yeah. no one there. <laughs> uh, also in this game, we use the L button. You're not going to see these features on the version we have on the show floor tomorrow. So today's kind of a sneak preview. But see, you can spray water out like this. And it's analog, so you can spray a lot of water or just a little bit. We're not using the other buttons a whole lot in this game. But you will be able to play this tomorrow on the show floor. So I hope you'll enjoy these kind of creepy lighting and shadow effects that we put on the GameCube here. So take some time tomorrow to take a look at it. Oh, there is uh, one more thing about the controller. I was forgetting that. Yes, Game Boy Advance. As you know, it's going to be launched in the U.S. next month. And this will be able to be used as a Nintendo GameCube controller. Now, we're not going to give you any real concrete examples about that at this show. But uh, as with the single-pack multiplayer modes on Game Boy Advance, you're not going to need an extra cartridge to use it as a controller. So it's going to be very easy to use. We'll be showing you some new ideas with this at our next show, so you can look forward to that too.
It sounds like uh, Luigi's in back and he needs my help. Um, I'll be back later, but uh, I'm gonna duck back there for now. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo Fools.